contact uh, Fort Myers, 126.8. 268, Allegiance, 18661. Chef 405, uh, is ready to contact Greeted really Southeast of Sarasota, turn around direct circuit. Uh, direct, right turn direct circuit, you said, Chef 405? Yes, please. United 2051, Tampa Tower, winds 17010, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. Contact Tampa, departure at 118.15. Good day. 19 right, clear for takeoff, United 2051. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Gorilla here. Hey, uh, as you see, I'm in the tower today, and I'm just here to make a short educational video about talking on the radio for paramotors. Um, as you know, most of the places we fly don't really require us to talk on the radio. Nowadays, more and more of us are flying in these small, uncontrolled airports. Um, it's just another tool in your arsenal to be safe. Um, our airport, we've kind of established a flight pattern that really deconflicts us with the, the aircraft traffic. We take off from a grass field. We don't cross the active runway. We fly below the traffic pattern until we get several miles away before we climb out. It's just a, it's just a good thing to be able to hear when there are airplanes coming and going. Sometimes at our airport, there are uh, crop dusters and crop dusting helicopters. They don't usually use the pattern. They'll come in at low altitude from any direction. So it's just good to have a heads up on those kind of things. It's another tool in your arsenal. Um, aviation radios are inexpensive nowadays. This Rexon was less than 150 bucks and uh, it does everything I need. I did upgrade my helmet setup so that I can have dual radios. Um, we like to communicate on uh, two meter radio, pilot to pilot, paramotor pilot to paramotor pilot because we can't really use the uh, aviation radio for that, or we shouldn't anyway. So anyway, like I said, just a short video to go over the basics of um, talking on the common traffic frequencies and these uncontrolled airports, and um, I hope you guys like it. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell for new content. Um, I'm going to try to bring more and more of this kind of stuff to the table. All right, guys, check it out. Okay, guys, here's what you need to know about aviation band radios. These radios run on frequencies between 118 and 137 megahertz. No license is required to use an aircraft radio if you're in an aircraft. Paramotor is an aircraft. Um, two meter ham radios do require license. They're easily acquired. Um, you go to ham test online and go to your local radio club and take a test. I've done it and I recommend you do the same. If you refer to the standard aeronautical chart for the area you're flying, you can find the frequencies these frequencies are referred to as CTAF, or Common Traffic Advisory Frequency. In some locations, this is also known as Unicom. That just means that there is a radio station on the field. Um, maybe it's an FBO or an airport office. You still use the same procedures to call your position and location and intentions. Listed with the airport information, you will see the CTAF frequency. Here's the one for Avon Park. 122.8. Here's another local airport, Sebring. You can see it's 122.7. The next question is where, when, and what? I mean, what should I say and when should I say it? The Airwind Information Manual recommends that initial radio calls take place at 10 miles out when you're approaching an airport. Now that's a little bit uh, too far out for paramotors, I think. I mean, you could be 20 or 30 minutes away if you're 10 miles out, depending on the wind. I generally try to make my calls two miles from the airport. Um, the exception to that is if you are five or 10 miles out and you hear another aircraft coming in for your direction, it would be good to make an advisory so that that aircraft can be looking out for you and you can be looking out for him. Okay, now for the radio calls. What do I say and when? It's really kind of simple, guys. There are like four things that you want to convey in this radio call. Each call should start and end with the airport you're flying from. For example, Wachula traffic, paramotor taking off from the grass and leaving to the west, Wachula. The reason that we say this twice is that sometimes there are multiple airports within 50 or 60 miles using that frequency so you want to be very clear as to which airspace or which airport you're talking about. Also if the people listening didn't hear the beginning of the transmission they'll tune in and hear the end of the transmission and know for sure where you are. The things that you want to convey in this radio call is who you are, where you are, and what your intentions are basically. It would sound something like this. 
Avon Park traffic paramotor flight of three approaching from the west at 500 feet will be landing in the grass near the segmented circle short of the active runway, Avon Park. This lets other aircraft know who or what you are, which direction to look for you, what altitude, and where you're going to be landing. Keep in mind we're working in three dimensions here, so give your position relative to the airport, the direction you're heading, as well as your altitude. A good airport call would sound something like this. Lake Wales traffic, paramotor, two miles south at 500 feet inbound for landing, Lake Wales. Here's my takeoff call from the other morning. Wachula traffic, paramotor will be departing from the south end of the field off of the grass. We'll remain clear of the active and stay below the pattern. Wachula. Guys, it really is that simple. Just make it short and sweet and give that information and you're done. I think that we can gain a lot of respect from general aviation pilots if we just act professional, if we use the radio. That seems to be one of the biggest complaints that I hear from general aviation pilots is that we don't talk on radios. I mean, I know it's nice to have the freedom not to have to do it, but uh, I think sometimes it can be to your benefit and has definitely added a lot of safety to my flying kit. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Grill out.